Hello there. General Kenobi. Ooh. Hi. Welcome to Dysylvania. Dysylvania. We are a bunch of lovable geeks who meet every Sunday to play Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons. And speak very beautiful vampire English. Oh, vampire English. Suck the blood. Suck the blood. I uh, am Count Bear, the DM for Iceras, and I have here with me um, my uh, lovely friends, Lair, Hello. Rooks, Hi. Karina, and Yonut. But before we start the episode, we have uh, a quick announcement for our friends. We have a guest today. His name is Diny the Dinosaur. <laughs> Hello, everybody! I'm Diny the Dinosaur! If you like things, crafts, and rolling, why not combine them? Oh, yes, you guessed it. It's our friends at Rolly Hipscraft! <laughs> Tiny potions and cute props such as these. Where are my props? Give me the props. Give me the potion. Ah! <laughs> they are so cute and wonderful. I kind of like myself, but not really because I'm more cute. <laughs> so head on over to rollinghillscrap.com and use the promo code DICELVANIA10 for 10 percent of your purchases. <laughs> the code is available for eight months. So go to rollinghillscraft.com and use my code. <laughs> Back to you. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Fucking love it. Yes, um, leave his buckle alone. <laughs> if um, you do enjoy our content, Please uh, make sure to give us a, a subscribe, a like, and uh, comment over there on the videos. We know that we appreciate it very much. So, now, it is time then to jump into I next Icerus, next episode from Dysylvania. <laughs> In Icerus. start with a quick recap on what happened previously and uh, we see the party now heading into Atmos Grove in search of uh, answers to this uh, cabal of tainted eclipse and uh, trying to uncover their schemes uh, as uh, the party ventured inside the forest um, after two days of travel at um, dusk, they have uh, encountered a uh, camp made uh, within a um, stone circle that uh, was uh, populated by a group of traveling uh, satyrs whom um, they did um, invite the folks, the party, uh, to join them in celebration and good times. And uh, as they entered the camp some of them were immediately some of them immediately fell to the charm of uh, the satyrs uh, so to say uh, very serene 
uh, vibes. Except for Xylo and... Uh, Hippie vibes! <laughs> Xylo and um, Sippy with uh, Zolux. As um, they quickly found out that uh, their intentions were deeper than just a celebration. They actually were in there uh, looking for uh, Xylo, as uh, they've been uh, sent by Tilemos, her father, to find her. And um, the lead, so to say, Satyr, invited her on a journey towards the Unseely Court in uh, Feywilds, where he met she met, sorry, she met uh, her father and uh, there was a heated discussion between the two parents, Thoko and uh, him, um, each of them trying to get her on their side, but ultimately she decided to go her own path and uh, as soon as uh, she returned from the Ansili court in Feyrealm, the symbiosis between the two was complete as uh, Xylo Wither, now one, have, has uh, left the party in search of her own answers and uh, trying to make up, uh, to make sense out of uh, her um, condition, so to say. And, uh, and her... State of being. Uh, state of Yeah, and uh, trying to find her own path. And um, here is where we left off with uh, you saying goodbyes to Xylo Wither and uh, continuing venturing forth into the Atmos Grove. I forgot to mention that um, before you left with uh, Iptin, Amberheart, um, you decided that uh, you would meet somewhere further west where um, you, he knew it was the previous um, camp encampment of the Brotherhood. And um, right now, I'll say that you are five days away from the encampment and also only one week away from the beginning of the blood. So, what do you wish to do, guys? Last time I had an exhaustion point and yes. right now I'm resting. So to get rid of that exhaustion point yeah, I have to yeah. complete the long rest. So I'm it's fine. I'm uh, silently uh, snoring and snoozing in uh, children's backpack. Yes. Like, <laughs> I will kill you. Kill me or soul. Can you guys hear that? Yeah, I think she's having a nightmare. Oh. Or a nice dream. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, right. Maybe Zorx is having a night nice dream. I wonder if they have common dreams. Like if they share the same body. Don't they share the same mind in a way? We should keep asking those type of questions until the, the marks on her face uh, erase. <laughs> I oh, forgot yeah. about that. Yeah. Is oh. there anyone you want me to message? I would uh, like to message Gopa for uh, a nice fermented goat milk. <laughs> Who's asking? <laughs> Uh, it's uh, it's me, Sildrian. I I think I'm uh, ready for a special meal. Uh, 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 I don't know any Sildrian. Who? State your business here. <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, I, uh, I, got, I gotta run. Uh, I can uh, talk to you later. Is the barrel with you, Goba? Do, 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 do. The line has been disconnected. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember, is Goba's barrel with him or is it on me or so. with uh, yes. mm. Let's check something because I have the... If I remember entry. correctly, it was in the bag of, bag of holding. holding. Yeah, let me check it. And that is with... I think you. Oh. Yeah. 
Okay. Uh, oh. no, Probably Goba will definitely yeah, have. Uh, we have sorry. it. Fermented goat milk. We have it in the bag of holding. Okay. Probably he's gonna have some of his own stash yeah, with him, uh, but definitely. for sure. But yeah. In that case, Sildrin doesn't need Goba's permission, and he'll pour a couple. Yeah. And uh, he he's not getting wasted, but um, he's definitely feeling it. Oh. Didn't you have enough last night? I saw you drinking, go to your head! <laughs> what are you planning to do? It's not going to my head fast enough. That's... Take him, Draven. <laughs> and I stand behind him. <laughs> are you visible or invisible? Good question. I forgot the last time, uh, if last time he, he went, was invisible. He the thing was is, invisible. Uh, he probably woke up uh, hangover yeah, as and, well. Yeah, um, and like it's not like he has permanent invisibility. That yeah, requires no. spell slots. <laughs> but um, no, I'll just probably cover yeah, after for, or either uh, a Draven or Shelly because Shelly's wider. And seeing how Sildren bit the living shit out of me, I will oh, not go oh, between oh. you. So. Uh, but uh, uh, I, I trust you, Draven. You you have uh, 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 my hand. I I have a lame gober, but you have wits, and <laughs> strength, and courage. Yeah yeah, courage. <laughs> I would like to uh, look for tracks. <laughs> uh, sure, uh, while um, being... Uh, yeah, sure, I, I have courage. Roll a survival check, please. Am I good at it? Nope. I need... Oh, Ooh. it's a dirty 20. No wow. yeah. What are with these rolls, man? Like... I don't know. Um, there aren't any specific uh, tracks, but... Um, you see that there is like, you know, broken branches a, or things like that. That's... There would be, but you do manage to keep on um, the this beaten path that um, it's usually traveled around the area. But um, I'll say that you're uh, for the first part of the day, the morning one. The the travel goes uneventful, and. Um, you now need to rest again for them. Set up a camp because yeah. it's getting dark. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. So, anyone wants to do something? Yes, Sildrin will continue drinking <laughs> some yeah. fermented goat milk in the evening. And you, uh, you, you better watch it because it's the only one we have. And there's plenty. Come on, go back. Uh, 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 not for the ride home. Yeah. Uh, we, we we need it, and maybe you shouldn't be drinking, it's gonna get up to you, Ed. And uh, with all those uh, mysterious powers of yours that I'm totally not keeping tab on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who, well, I'm going I heard something over there, and I'm going to check something, and... and <laughs> <laughs> Nice. You could use some less drinking yourself, you know. I can't hear. <laughs> I'm walking away now. <laughs> um, okay. Um, I am going to try to move away. What do we see around us? Is it like a forest? Is it like um, a clearing? Um, you would um, travel enough so that you would find a small clearing. Okay. A land I, of sorts. Okay. And. Um, as you've seen uh, for the previous days, this place is adorned here and there with uh, ancient uh, stone obelisks and uh, okay. trees that have various druidic markings on them and all that. And um, other than that, it's quite peaceful. Okay, um, I would like to get far away as to not be seen by them, but also not get lost. So I can still yeah. kind mm -hmm. of hear him or see, maybe we yeah. get the fire going and... Yeah, you would have points of reference as, you know, okay. the marked okay. trees and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, well, 
go back and probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, and he's still hangover, so very cranky. Um... <sighs> okay, roll. <sighs> you can do this. You can do this. <sighs> so I uh, take a hold of um, the, mm -hmm. the staff that he usually has, the stick. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, can, do we see the moon tonight? Yeah. Okay. Slightly cloudy, but it's still there. It's the still there here. if I see it. And I... <sighs> <coughs> I, I I raise my hands to the sky with the stick in my hand. Oh, powerful er Eryx, uh, hear your humble uh, champion's prayer and come down so we can talk about the the thing about the you know what about the you know what, please. <laughs> Does um, that do anything? <laughs> Roll me out a religion check. Oh wait, I have this test now. Tonight. Um, I believe Goa has some ability for uh, ability check. No, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> um, I would choose so, to fail. <laughs> yeah, Goa, you just stand there and that's oh, in silence. Uh, <clears throat> is this thing working? <laughs> Fireball. <laughs> Uh, oh, goddess of the sparkly things and uh, me, uh, please, I need to talk to you. Hello, I need to talk to you. <laughs> please. <laughs> Does it work? <laughs> uh, 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 why are, are, you can't see my legs, but I'm kind of, uh, uh, I, is that how it's spelled? And an X and a Y and... <laughs> Please, I, I I really need you to come down here, please. And I need to, you know, it's important. And he just, he just sits down and like... Roll me <laughs> again with advantage this time. <laughs> somebody took pity on you. <laughs> I mean, he had several attempts to, to actually call him... Uh, on, Oh. You rolled the one and two oh, or no. what? I rolled the one and an eight. <laughs> so the the thing is that uh, you stand there, do what oh. you think to be sort of a calling ritual for her. You like you Maybe know of Eryx, though you haven't really studied uh, like so to say the doctrine or like the actual uh, ceremonies and whatnot. You just improvised, but. Well, it does take a while, and you sit there for like ten Eric, minutes. Eric, 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 hey, hey, Eric, Eric. After, hey, after hey, some hey, time. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah. What are you talking? <laughs> hey, Eric, the, the ground. Hey, hey, yeah, Eric. Stick. Eric. <laughs> I just don't like this. Stuff. And um, yeah, after um, a while. I almost fell asleep. Like you hey, hear. Eric. Um, <laughs> Her voice in uh, in your head saying, "Ah, my sweet child. Hi, hello." Oh, oh, I've been sitting there for. I can't. I don't have a watch. Uh, <laughs> and you just show up now. It. I thought it was important. Well, it, it, what's also important? It's uh, this upcoming. Uh, Blood Moon, this astrological event. Right, right, which we're trying to avoid. Mm. Uh, uh, we're out here in the open, and I'm trying to reach you about I... the... You know what? Yeah, well, I have I have to say, I um, have been feeling his aura through you recently, but I would like uh, to... Is it on me? <laughs> get off! Uh, How do you get aura off? <laughs> I would like also to hear what your your insights is on all of this. Well, 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 well. And he got uh, like just a bit panicking, jittery. Well, well. He he already. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I I I think he he had a, a a vision or a dream about listen and 
and and oh oh the, he 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 knows he knows his his powers comes from from Lissim, and is he dangerous? Hmm? Is he dangerous? Tell me now. I'll I'll I'll, I'll fight him <laughs> through. Uh, I'll pick my own champion, probably Shelly, because Draven didn't want to, or maybe Sippy Sippy's fearless. <laughs> I uh, have told you before that Lissim is my sister uh, and uh, that uh, 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 she I mean... doesn't have ill intentions. She yeah, only well, has been nice, been so... misunderstood by the rest of the Pantheon. But Hi. it's if her powers and auras were able to come from her demiplane prison, then this is even further proof that uh, this astrological implications that um, are ahead of us have been making the veils between the, dem the planes uh, quite weaker. Right. Like, like, like the level of my goat milk is right now. <laughs> Yes, you could call it that, yeah. But, um... But not in your blood! <laughs> <laughs> I have to tell you, though, Gaba, as much as it pains me... Don't take my I... sparkles away! <laughs> no, never. You've done okay. great so far. I've been, you know that I've been there watching over your shoulders from time to time, though God's business also takes a lot of time. It's why I've also probably answered uh, a bit late, but ah. as much as it pains me um, and as much as I'd like to see my sister once again, we must not allow for this uh, veil to, to be torn apart. Right, so the girls won't be very happy about it. Hmm? The girls won't be very happy about it. Exactly. Or that, what, what? So, Lissim can't escape, but what do we do with Sildren? Because he already has powers. And I'm not gonna kill him. Well. Because I'm afraid. <laughs> Shush, sleeping CP. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm very courageous. I, I, I would, I would, but... Her powers, like anything, can be used either for bad or good. And if you trust your companion to put her, put his powers to good use, then all I would say is just to continue observing him, but uh, now that I have proof that, uh, solid proof that his uh, his powers come from uh, my sister, then um, I need to be careful. Know that whatever you may discover further into Atmos Grove, I will be watching intently. It's unfortunate that uh, we are prevented from having direct influence and interference into your world because uh, there are some, all I can say is that there are some very grim things happening further there. Uh, uh, I mean, we have already saved the world twice. I think so. We kind of heroes. I mean, what what happens if you like log list them away, but better this time, like more effectively? What happens to to Sildren's powers? Can he still get the powers, or mm. he's gonna be like playing Sildren and I can take him better? <laughs> <laughs> it is a uh, tricky question, though. <laughs> in order to do that. You might need to get, again, in contact with her to send her somewhere else. But uh, we might just want to keep this demiplane prison as it is. 
Right, so I gotta be nice to children. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I've said some mean things, but I'm gonna blame it on my hangover and he gonna forget all about it because he kinda nice. You so. do that, little guy. And uh, I'm not little. <laughs> I'm even, quite an average goblin, okay? And, and even if um, um, you heard the voice, you. Am I talking by myself? Like, literally sitting on the couch? If you want to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but. <laughs> Just but the thing is, you mind. said you went invisible into the forest, right? Because yeah, when you left, so true. you're still invisible. Oh, okay. It's yeah. just a random voice in the forest. But um, even so, like after this, you feel that there is um, sort of a gentle um, arm that's put on your shoulder. That's um, a very a spider. <laughs> it's it's very cry like a calming and soothing and um, and uh, Gova's eyes go a bit watery and like almost dark, but like he sucks his tears in yeah. like because he's also yeah. brave. Yeah. Yeah. And um and dehydrated. Don't worry. Um oh, oh, you I'm are, not worried. You are a very brave individual. I, I know I am. You and your friends know that you've definitely gathered the attention of the Pantheon. So you may walk in virtue. Yep. Then, Always uh, virtue. Yeah. I'll, the, I'll, I'll, I'll go, go preach virtue yeah. to yeah. the heathens. And um, is at that point also when uh, the stars above you believe you see them flickering very intensely for a second as a sign of uh, Eryx just being there watching over but then the voice fades uh, hello I think we might have left oh. <laughs> but go go nice Meanwhile, the so. foragers. <laughs> bye bye. I think that's a good, 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 good ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I attracted animals or something. <laughs> yeah. So I return to the to the yeah. camp and just okay. plant myself around the fire. So you guys start uh, setting camp, and, um, and then as everyone starts setting camp and starting uh, preparing to go to sleep. You see Sildren's backpack, uh, uh, top flipping, and uh, from it, Sibi emerges. Come on! Such a nice sleep I had, so who's ready to party? <laughs> and I see you guys all tired, I'm like, what's happening? I think your face is trying to party, or oh, did some partying last night. My face? Is it like, well rested? <laughs> Rock! Yeah, I, I wish I could grow those. Why are you staring at my forehead? Uh, 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 I meant to bought eggs. I had something on my... <gasps> Why is it black? Uh, 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 I had something on my forehead. And CP will smudge the tip of the <laughs> penis. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> the I love you bitches. <laughs> so you have just two bowls now <laughs> with the black smudge <laughs> on the right corner of the forehead. Oh, 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 can you oh, help I, me clean this? Oh, oh, I can give you my cloth and it gives you like a really dirty <laughs> cloth <laughs> um, <laughs> to, to wash it off. I take it with just two fingers. I really appreciate oh, the... What? <laughs> I, I really appreciate the gesture, but um, but but Sildren promised that will help me, and I don't want to disappoint him. Oh, 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 oh Spildren, Spildren, <laughs> Spildren can spit into that as well. I mean, the, the more the, the better. You can make like a cocktail of spit, and it, it, it works. It works very fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not picking it up this time, so I'm gonna just turn Sit on yourself. My... This is pure moisturizer. Because of all that goat milk that I have in my system, it's gonna do wonders for your skin. No, just... And your figure and everything. Alcohol every... just dehydrates you. Everyone no. knows. It is common knowledge, Goba. Wrong. 
I, I refuse to believe that. It's made me feel better, slightly angry, and sorry, still drink for you know that misunderstanding. Like it, I think last night's party got to me, and, and uh, would you like another point we have for everybody? Yes, yes, go by and uh, still did uh, just uh, topples and go to sleep. <laughs> Same. Well, oh, wait. I'll take that as a yes, and like pour just a bit of goat milk into your mouth and. Uh, Cheers! <laughs> the thing is... <laughs> bef <laughs> before... Okay, I won't make what I wanted to make. <laughs> Did you want to gurgle? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> no! So, no. <laughs> before you uh, get into your bad rolls and everything... I will mm. take the first shift as I'm fully rested. Yeah. You can take all the shifts. I'll say before that, <laughs> so while uh, you're still uh, up, um, just getting ready to go to sleep. Um, Draven, roll me a perception. Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a 19 plus 6. So you have to roll backwards, basically. Yeah, like, 19 plus 6? Plus 6, so it's yeah, well, yeah, yeah, so yeah, good, good, I'm not good at math, so... Alright, same I, I, school case. I, I, I got you, buddy. <laughs> you find there sort of a log in which you stand for a second before uh, heading to, to sleep. And um, the pendant you receive from Javier. You have it over there and you feel it once again that you have it in the pocket right next to your chest You feel it once again giving a warmth like and you instinctually just put your hand over there like something like it hurts but pleasant in the same time and after that you look around and you you are sure that you saw a very white, almost golden uh, silhouette of a woman that just passes through the forest and goes somewhere. And uh, I'll say with that perception, you even well, sort of recognize the outfit, the clothing of this nice uh, dress that definitely reminds you of an orb. No. You. Are you. You you saw this. The rest were doing other stuff. They were. I'll follow. Uh, I'm I'm gonna head a bit. I've seen something. <laughs> I'll I'll just go ahead. You're pooping again. Okay. Do you no, need yeah. company? <laughs> no. Yeah, you can poop together. <laughs> but I can poop by my. Bye. <laughs> okay. Bye, Draven. He's very secretive. Right. I would be too if I was, was dead. <laughs> so, you head further where you saw the silhouette going, and um, you then, first as you're going, you hear almost like from inside your head and it feels like this um, ghostly silhouette is just moving from one tree to another as it just leads you a bit further there and at some point you you have the, the pendant uh, glows again and uh, this time the pain is even uh, hits harder as uh, almost uh, it makes your head uh, just hurt as you hear this time uh, just the voice of a woman just um, screaming very desperately saying uh, Darren no and you're left there like you and Romy a intelligence check. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'm very stupid. Make sure just to roll 
wrong. <laughs> no, on the ten. outside of the it's a ten. tray. Because I'm very dumb. Okay. Because you know. You, you remember now with this intense <laughs> feeling of pain and the headache you have, uh, that voice was Anna Laura's and were the last words you heard from her right before you died. died. Does it come from anywhere? Um, like, does it have a location or you might... At this point it seems to go further where the where the also the silhouette is. Other one. Okay. You head there and um, as uh, you move on further, you get a sense of dread, but also of anticipation as uh, quite actually for the first time in a long while, it's actually the first time when you can feel that still heart of yours beating faster. As it seems that you get a bit of a deja vu effect almost as where she's heading it's also very close to where you first woke up from the ground do i see anything and as uh, if my heart beats and you yeah. know that moment when your heart beats a bit faster and it hits you and you're like mm -hmm. oh shit yeah so. because something else uh, you see that triggers you so to say there is a small clearing in the distance and uh, over there you see a pyre so it's a fire it's a flame it's uh, almost like a, a campfire but it's larger it's more intense is there anyone around and um, yes, you do see that uh, over there, there stands in front of the fire, very maniacally looking this humanoid creature that um, he, um, it's quite well built, quite muscular, but um, has um, very sharp features and his face it's uh, a bit contorted he almost has a few burn marks on him as uh, you see this hunching figure close to uh, the pyre that he seems to be munching on something that looks very also humane yeah uh, and the savage beast that's over there you if you want to approach you said you were the running I will first okay. as i see this change myself into an unsuspecting uh, traveler so i'm not looking like they're on okay and i'll try to prop myself behind the tree for a moment is he looking towards me is he uh, he is uh, quite there busy and uh, okay. chewing on the flesh but um Watch, standing there for um, a few more minutes, observing, you do see that uh, through the flames of this pyre, when uh, they dissipate for a moment, there also seems to be a uh, person that's being burnt inside. The... I will put my hand in my uh, pouch. I will check around. I have the hammer. I have the two nails. I have the rope. I'll take the rope out and move slowly towards the man. And I'll try, if possible, to suffocate him, but not kill him. Okay. Then uh, you need to roll me a stealth first. And then a grapple. Yeah. We'll get to that. Okay, but... And then some prayers, because you're more the rope. Yes. <laughs> Thirteen for self. Thirteen. Yeah, because I have a minus one. Just roll outside the tree. 
He um, <laughs> seems quite distracted into there, into his uh, meal. As, uh, yeah, now that you're getting closer, you can see that uh, also he has uh, like actual cuts uh, on his arm that um, resemble the symbol of the Cabal of Tainted Eclipse. It's actually knifed in, in various parts of his body. This blood crazed individual that's just munching there on an arm. So if I'm prodding, I will take the rope and quickly step it behind his back um, and start to... Athletics check. That's bad. Mm, it's a plus one. Mm, it's a plus two. Okay, give me a second. I forgot to bring up his stats. Um, second. He is quite a beefy boy, if I mentioned that. <laughs> so you said 13? Yep. Yeah. Wow, I rolled a 3. <laughs> wow, um, he's busy chewing. Like. Yeah, so you do grapple him. He, he is going to try to resist. He, and um, right now, I'll say that... Um, I'll throw him to the ground, by the way. Let me roll a con save for him. Another three, I'm not joking. <laughs> As um, still struggling there and you caught him, especially like while he was munching on there, probably he was also choking a little bit and like with uh, not so much air inhale. Uh, going into his lungs, he he tries there, but uh, uh, you, you see that his eyes starts closing in. And, uh, yeah, he he's unconscious. I'll stay a few more seconds like this before letting him go. I look towards the fire. Does the person uh, the the person inside? Um, it's because it I suspect be... it's another victim. It's not like. I mean, yeah, it's another victim. It would be just a male. You, but you can't really get yeah. a good glance of it because now it's very charred and uh, quite nasty looking. Is it still alive? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. He was extremely. I'll I'll come back for you a bit later. I'll drag the unconscious body towards the nearest tree, and I'll let's see. Wrap his hands behind the the bark mm -hmm. tightly enough so that he cannot move. Yeah. I'll put myself down mm -hmm. and I'll start very slowly tapping him on the face and say, "Hey, hey, walk up, walk up, wake up, walk in, <laughs> walk." It takes a bit, but after like five minutes, he barely just manages to open his eyes and you see that he has almost bloodshot eyes very red and um, now like as soon as he wakes up he looks a bit towards you and almost like um, angry wolf so to say he shows his teeth animal. and you see that his teeth are almost like fanged a little bit but not like vampires like all of them Savage. Oh, something happened to you. I mean, someone must have caught you at a bad time. Do you need any help? No. You... You're the one with tainted flesh. Am I what? The tainted flesh. He can see through my disguise. Hmm? He can see through my disguise. He smells. Oh. Well, uh, I'm not sure what you're talking about, friend, but let me let me help you. And I'll take out the stakes and the hammer. Oh, but before I cut you loose, because, you know, I have a small story to tell. It's about a man and a woman. They were in a city, an elephant city. They were in love, I mean, and I begin to move around him. They, uh... They fell in love, they wanted to have a family, but then someone came, some group, some individuals. I never saw them, but as I understood, they killed him, buried him, and they said, ah, 
that's it. He's not here anymore. And they began to torture his wife. And I put the stake near his finger, near his hands. Mm -hmm. But you see, and I take out the mask. I'm still here. Does he look at me? Roll me an intimidation check. Wow. If he doesn't, I will roll a... Uh, also with advantage. Command. Yeah, yeah, but... Uh, Oh, I rolled tonight. Um, he um, takes a glance at you and uh, do you like what? See, see, he's shaking a little bit. As no, don't, don't shake. She never had the chance to. Nor he. Oh, in that case, <laughs> and I will strike the. <laughs> no, 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 you cannot yeah. scream, no, no, and I'll cast command and I said don't, uh, what do I roll for command? No, I need to roll a save oh, okay. on that. Uh, let me tell you the check, actually. Yeah, the DC. Um, 15? No, no, yeah, <sighs> now that I have a right here, and I'll plop it in the knee with the <laughs> other. <laughs> Let me ask you some questions. You look like someone who knows things. Am I right? Yes or no? I know. I'll baptize you in your own blood. I don't have blood. Uh, do you want this to be quick or not? It's up to you. Quick. Okay. Then answer me these questions. Why did you kill us? I mean, you couldn't know that. Uh, why did you go to Cicera and kill exactly those two people? Mm. For Sarkis. You... You will soon find out. I slap him. Okay, mm. let's do another. Um, where are your friends? <laughs> Ah, well, I would tell you, I would take you there, but only your corpse. Okay, I have other means of doing this and I'll bite you in the neck. <gasps> and I'll stay there. Uh, what do I see? Anything. Okay, oh uh, first I need to roll a save, save. I guess. It was so a wisdom. Wow, <laughs> I'm not using this dice anymore. <laughs> No, we so we cast it into the fire. Why? It's Isildur. good for us. I mean, yeah. use it all the time, please. <laughs> Maybe it's like that. just to us. Yeah. You can hand it over and we'll try. <laughs> right. As um, you take uh, a bite on him and uh, extract uh, his uh, memories, uh, like you put... You already put him in that mind state where he's thinking on these thoughts so he's actively now now thinking of this um, opening somewhere that it's almost on a cliff side and um, by the edge of it almost you see this scenery of another stone circle uh, obelisk structure that uh, in the middle of it seems to be a pit almost at this point an oubliette which is like a pit filled with uh, just a lot of dead bodies and uh, around it you see that there are quite a few of these other savages berserkers that you now have tied that uh, all of them seem to chant something in harmony that almost sounds also very growly as they say but uh, they're uh, chanting uh, 
uh, this in a very like ritualistic manner as um, what they're doing exactly you don't know but also in this uh, scenery you see other of these savages cannibals some are feast feasting others have uh, other pyres around that uh, also uh, seem to just enjoy watching this and um, like that's about it, what you see the scenery of um, of him like when he was thinking of when you ask him where uh, where are they hiding yeah where are they hiding how is he looking as I stop drinking his blood is he really mm -hmm. weak is he, hmm? is he really weak because mm, no. I was fighting like really hard then. yeah um He's not that weak. Okay. He's still uh, in there, and after you finish biting, he still looks at you and almost shows his jagged teeth towards you. I can do that too. Now, second question. <laughs> I wonder where were you when you burned that woman a while ago? And I'll bite him again, thinking that he, as I ask this, he's thinking about the place and whatnot. Oh, okay, and then you yeah, bite no, him again. Yeah. Like uh, when I met him, right? What? It's two. Nice. <laughs> it's a different bite? Your rolls are on point <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> of your destruction. <laughs> wow. No no roll above 10. Today. Okay, you can just keep rolling. Yeah. Oh, no, just keep rolling. Entirely, yeah. you're rolling. He, he's so. gonna roll well in combat, so... Keep rolling, rolling. Oh, yeah. Maybe rolling. we won't have combat. Right, um, and uh, so when you ask that question, he, like, before you bite him, he actually takes a very close glance towards you, almost that of recognition, although, like, yeah, your face, it's a bit deformed, but you still maintain a few yeah. features here and there, and he's trying to focus on that features almost, and after you bite him and ask him that question, um, you do see the scenery which you only felt you haven't seen it but you only felt it as uh, there were uh, two individuals um, this fellow you're interrogating and uh, a minotaur the minotaur it's uh, like with his hand he's just making some sort of a dirt grave in which tosses your body and uh, the other individual the one you're torturing just uh, maniacally laughing while looking at the pyre where Anora is there <sighs> now that made me mad I wanted to heal you but I guess you will be the first and I look towards the sky you wanted me to kill. You wanted souls. I'll give you one. I curse you. You will never know peace. You will never go to paradise. You will never see anyone again. And I'll bite him and I'll take every bit of drop in his body. Is there a gasping? Shut up. How does his blood taste? If that's a question mark, I want mm, Nothing different, so to say, than the other ones you taste. I mean, probably different than Whispers, because yeah. she's air. Yep. And, yeah. But, <laughs> um, yeah, it's nothing special. But uh, you keep uh, draining, and I yeah, let go. his uh, vitality just uh, leaves his body. To make matters worse, I will leave one full piece of mm -hmm. his flesh. Mm -hmm. And uh, you see that he just gets pale and uh, he just remains there motionless as he's now um, extremely pale and very um, bright skin almost and yeah, he's, uh, he's just standing there motionless. I will cut his robe, robe and I'll carve into his flesh because maybe they are watching, maybe they're not. I'm coming for you. And I spit into his face. 
Uh, is the fire still burning? Yeah. Um, can I try to throw myself kind of the flames and snatch the body from the flames? Mm-hmm. I mean, um, roll if me I'm burning, it's okay. It's nice. Roll me an uh, acrobatics. Uh, can I make a suggestion? Okay. Uh, since we're often um, having campfires, maybe Trevor would know that uh, you can throw a piece of cloth on the oh right on the yeah. fire and I, I try to throw myself at the fire and then I have Sildren's voice in my head. No, you can't. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it, we, yeah, would no. we would yeah. probably yeah. know. Use yeah, yeah. These then, techniques. I'll, then I'll do that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. just toss yeah. dirt on the fire the body, to put it which out. Which is quite charred at this Body. point. It's Dark and then just crisp. <laughs> put it on the ground. Yeah. Crispy. Do you like a good crispy? I'll, I'll get them. I promise. And I'll cast, uh, cast. And I put some dirt on him. And I cast. I don't know what to do. Animate. Animate that. <laughs> <laughs> um. And then you put him to uh, dig his own grave. Let's <laughs> I'll cast something clerically. Mm -hmm. so I get you, I get you. In nomine Padres, in Spiritus Sancti. Some of the uh, chants and that you've um, learned from um, uh, Anora, um, that you know she was a, a devoted follower of the Church of Light. And um, after you do there, after you do that, you stay there for a brief second as you process what happened and um, you then look um, up and uh, you see again this whitish goldish silhouette. She's still, her facial features and everything are still blurry. They're the same as as hard as you might try to think of how she looked like you're unable to since Ogbris, uh he has that memory it's his uh, sort of bargaining chip that uh, he has exactly memories of uh, an aura but you you still see this uh, shining uh, silhouette that uh, um, looks towards you, um, like almost um, gives a hand and uh, raises your chin a little bit. And I'm sorry. It's it's all right. I I thank you so much, Darren. You now I I'm free and I can ascend into the light finally. But we thank you. And I just I'm not seeing anything, just processing this. Okay. Um, you continue to walk in the light and we shall hopefully meet again. Wait. And I I mean I think that she fades away. Because uh, yeah, she kind of uh, then goes for um, a, um, she would go for a uh, kiss on your forehead and you feel it and after that when uh, you open your eyes again you just see as the ghostly visage just uh, dissipates um. and um, the tattoo you have on your chest almost glows a little bit and yeah you feel you feel warmth do I get the feeling that someone's watching? Someone that's in raw perception. I'm not talking about like yeah. corporeal beings. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ooh. Uh, 18 plus. Uh, plus 7, it's 25. Mm. Mm. You. So you 
look around like corporeal things. Uh, mm -hmm. They're just the usual wildlife here and there, a few critters. But um, in terms of magical awareness, I mean, you take a bit, think, and these were brute savages. They probably don't have magic or anything to scry on you or anything. But... And as I turn back to the camp, I'll only think about the fact that I've killed my first person. And that maybe I forfeited my being. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you just see me come back. Yeah. No, I'm not saying anything. I'm just laying down and sleep. Sleep. Try I mean, Richelli probably sees you and like, Hey, Draven. Hey. Yeah, I'm That sleeping. took you a, a long time. I had stomach problems. It's fine. Nothing to worry about. Okay. Good night. I'm not sleeping, by the way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good night. So, you do um, take your long rest, the um, night uh, goes uneventful, and um, then you wake up ready for traveling. Most of us, okay. yeah. Most of us wake up ready for <laughs> <laughs> the road. What uh, is, uh... would you like to do? I'll oh. say, wait, before that, sorry. I'll say that, okay. um, like, you'll have the next, uh, now, four days to get to the previous uh, Brotherhood encampment. And um, tell me what do you do during these four days, because okay. nothing eventful will happen on the road, but if you wish to do something. So, yeah. Sildrin uh, would um, uh, spend the next day uh, <laughs> Trying to find some good tea for the hangover, mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, oh, on his uh, oh yes, <laughs> but on the last day he'll start drinking again. <laughs> <laughs> the pressure, man. <laughs> he's uh, he's uh, visibly quite upset on. Uh, uh, he he has things on his mind, and he would probably talk mm -hmm. with you that it's about uh, 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 Drios, his brother that uh, might be sort of the enemy in his control or not still even if we don't know yeah he's a bit uh, tormented as we're drinking i think i know where the cabal hides oh. i mean i know certain things about the location i don't know exactly where it is how do so you know i had a very good informant Oh, um, did it happen last uh, few days ago when you pooped for it long? It came to me. I had a revelation. Oh, and, uh, I also have smart thoughts when I poop. <laughs> <laughs> did it have anything to do with that uh, miserable god of yours? Mm, no, actually. Huh. I just stumbled upon a clue. I had some help. Well, do you have the clue with you? Yes. So the location is a cliff, and Who's it has cliff? Uh, <laughs> a very nice man. Uh, okay. I can't wait to meet him. No. Is he what, what did you get that? <laughs> uh, um... Do you fancy cliff? Yes. Why did is you it not bring short him for to Clifford? And. Um, <laughs> It's a cliff, it has a big pit near it. Like armpits? No. <laughs> I mean, if you had uh, leprosy, maybe. Um, That's disgusting. And also, the cabal kind of looked like savages. Or something like that. What do you mean, savages? Um, In what way? Uh, filed teeth, uh, smell of shit. Uh, oh, brutes think very little. Well, I'm not gonna say what I was about to say. What? No. Come on, say it. I know I smell like shit, but... Oh, no, it wasn't about uh, you. It's not Gaba either, so it's fine. Um, 
they do act like savages, so yeah. it would. It, it's not such a big or small also, they surprise. Also, choke again. They As in, burn someone. And how do you know all this information? May I ask you? Did you use your special powers to bite somebody? Maybe. Okay. And kill him? You oh. killed. Yeah. It was your first kill? That was like this, serious. Ah. Yeah. Uh, what do we usually... You get used to it. What do we usually so, do <laughs> with first kills? Do we celebrate or do we mourn? Do you kill in cold blood? I think their blood is still warm when they first die. I know so. I live in a family of murderers. Now, now, there's no way to speak about your family now, is it? My grandfather, my grandfather, our, our grandfather, grandfather, yes, the name. He, he used to be this ruthless mercenary, yeah, and know. now he's repenting or something and now my brother also is a killer mercenary and yeah and we do it's the journey you go you kill some people then you're so oh 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 don't don't you be getting to put an idea in, in, in his head he he he's no murderer my children you you you're a good Good gentleman, uh, Leonin, not a murderer. I don't okay? know. With mysterious powers. It... I don't know, Goba, because uh, as I, uh, as I you can see in my, in my notebook so far, because I'm keeping tabs, well, you uh, and Cindy, is like, mm, mm, you and, and <laughs> there's a piece of... Uh, that's mine, and I take it back. Uh, no. You and Sidrin, <laughs> you and Sidrin are at the top of the list with killing bodies. Oh, well, that oh, is in self defense. Oh, they, yeah. they came at us first. Mm -hmm. Self defense. Oh, 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 self defense or oh, oh, other defense. Oh, when you, uh, if they attacked you, would you like me to just sit there and. Like, I didn't. Oh, I'm just. Oh, they're attacking CP. I shouldn't intervene because I'm not a murderer. Maybe CP means to say that she wishes our foes were more powerful so that they could oh, kill us. Oh, oh no. is, is that right? <laughs> oh my that, God, that no. Is it was. no, you guys, I'm okay with killing people. In murder, it's okay, we all did it. I'm just expressing my compliments because you, Goba, yeah. you, Sylvie, oh, at, the, oh. at the top of your game, you have the most numbers. Oh. Me, I'm third. Is yeah. that jealousy? Yeah. You bet it is. Yeah. Well, he also <laughs> killed some yeah. people, yeah. but not because he liked to. We know, Shelly. Would it be correct to assume that maybe Brennick would know something about the location, seeing how he's a traveler? Like uh, the cardinal mm. position of it or something like that? I miss Brennick. Maybe we should mm -hmm. message him. That's why I'm thinking <laughs> that. Oh, Raven is so smart, I mean, you guys. I think can it's. Can ask him. <laughs> okay. I'll cast a message. Hi, Brennick. Uh, Hi. Question. Hi. Would you know of a place with a cliff and a pit near <laughs> maybe it's in double? That's so vague. Somewhere? No, you find bread in that pit. I mean, let yeah. the message comes yeah. <laughs> I wanted to say something else. Fuck. Hello, dear friend. I can say I know of that location, but. There is a cliff in the south part of the Atmos Grove. Again, does it have a pit near it? <laughs> maybe if you look a lot, you can find or not just to make one yourself. I'm going to pull Sil uh, uh, Draven's clothing uh, from the elbow because that's my yeah. height. I mean, I tri while he's doing the message because I can't hear anything. If it doesn't work with Brennick, try with Jonathan, his waste man. Oh, shit. Jo <laughs> Jonathan is, a, oh, is the cab driver. <laughs> oh, oh Rock, the cab driver. Oh, Rock. Oh, Hello, Jonathan. Oh, I never met Jonathan. Who is this Jonathan? Hello, Jonathan. 
another Would one in the conquest. Would you happen to know of a place with a giant cliff and a pit near it? Maybe some... Well, this is how cliff works. What, what, what I'm thinking of... Um, no, it's a cliff. Not prayers, not pit. prayers. Um, not a cliff and a bigger and house. And some chantings. Okay. At night. Like Sam wild animals. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but not. But more like people than I, rather than wild animals. I, I can't remember exactly who this is, but no. Did you say your draven? <laughs> Shame. I am. Um, it's not how I raise you, draven. <laughs> I don't know of any of such places. Uh, first things first. <gasps> One. Are we heading north or south? Or west. west. Sure. Neither. <laughs> Fuck. This um, there is on the map over here um, that there is a cliff. It's like the cliff encompasses sort of the southwest of it. It's not exactly south yep. because uh, okay. south would be. Uh, can we can, can we have an intervention really quickly? It's yep. about me. Uh, I'm not what? the best with spells. I waste a lot of them. Can you tell me, no, Draven, do not spend your energy on ma messaging three people who know nothing or oh. things like that? Because I, I, I'm i not a competent spellcaster. Maybe if we shout really loud, they'll hear us. You. <laughs> what? If we shout, like, instead of you sending them a message, how far are they? <laughs> I don't know how to respond to this. Me neither. To oh, mine or to... to that. Uh, <laughs> oh, far away. Oh. Like this much. <laughs> so, I'm asking you to stop me from exhausting my spells for nothing. You don't need them, Trayvon. You can always swing your hammer. I don't have a hammer. Oh! oh. You can always take a short wait, rest and wait. regain spells. I think I've... Oh. Did you leave them in your other pants? Yes. And the metal snakes too. And the rope, so we don't have them anymore. Oh no. You did a oopsie poopsie. Yeah. And that was four days ago. <laughs> C'est la vie. We right. continue. Yeah. So. <laughs> These um, remaining four days of travel go uneventful, and um, give me a second. I wanted okay. to say something. Mm -hmm. I had a proposal for you, Draven, to find the cliff. Did you happen to notice something very unique and special for the place, for the cliff? A pit. Yeah, but there's pits everywhere near a yeah, cliff. Yeah, but not like that one. Well, what just, does it look like? It's full of bodies. Just focus oh. on, on <laughs> one thing. Okay. And maybe if you have that cool spell, locate object. Yeah, but... You know? It, when I've seen through his eyes, did any of the bodies, dead bodies, have anything on them? Like a Specific, necklace? Yeah. A, their, would be, but for example, if it's just a, for example, a plain uh, golden ring, like okay. there could be plain golden rings How about, all over How the about place. the tattoo? A oh, tattoo, yeah. a, uh, a, a thing scorched. on the, um, what's it, on the trees, like the Blair Witch Project, the yeah, yeah, yeah. statues the, made of wicker. Effigies. Effigies. Um, there would be a yeah, sure. Yeah. Or like a statue okay. in the shape of yeah. a wiener with a pitchfork in it, or something very specifically. Yeah. Um, you would have seen something. The thing is, locate object. You know, it has yeah. like yeah. one thousand. Uh, okay. yeah. Maybe when that's you, all I'm gonna say. Maybe when you get close to the cliffy part of the yeah. continent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But Raven, what about the vegetation? Maybe. Uh, uh, on the, on the cliff where you saw, there were very barren, just a few shrubs. It was just open cliff area. Panda. Yeah. And very shrubs. rocky terrain. Uh, but Sildrin would explain that um, uh, some parts of the island have different trees, uh, or at least in uh, different proportions. So maybe if you would notice something like this yes, well enough, and Sildrin also <laughs> knows 
uh, about this stuff uh, yeah. and you know that those connects maybe I'm not a holy crush holy crush holy crush thank you Shelly Hort oh, Fisher yeah, I know who thinks about this <laughs> <laughs> Who's <laughs> laughing? <laughs> Behind the camera. Nothing. I wouldn't so. know that. I mean, I'm. Every tree looks the yeah. same to me. I mean. They try to describe him the shrubs. <laughs> like, I... Do they have any coloration? Like flowers? Or In my matter? mind, I imagine that everything is like shadowy and things like that. <laughs> like when you cast. Um, Green. What's it called? Scrying. And things are like. Blurry and okay. Yeah. I mean, that, that's a... it's not a perfect picture. Or anything. Well, I that's right. Alright. Maybe so. we can go by our noses if we smell that flesh. That's not me. We can go from there. We have, would have to be pretty close. Yeah. But let's uh, follow the lead that we have right now, which is cliffs. Uh, uh, isn't it uh, south? Southwest. It's southwest. Yeah. So and we're going west. west. So, yeah. You're going west well, anyway going to west. the um, previous brotherhood the encampment. The mm. And uh, yeah, so so first we go there and then. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. All right. So um, on the fourth day, um, during um, almost uh, sunset, you see in the distance another clearing which has a very small uh, campfire and uh, near it is a uh, Leonin fellow taking a closer look it's Itin! Itin. Wow! <laughs> what were the odds? Yes. Yay. And um, we will see uh, what happens after we'll take a short break oh. A break! Itin! Itin! <laughs> <laughs> so if Thin a bit. What's thin? Thin a bit. Oh, it's my cousin. Oh, shit. Well, hello there, Hipton. Hallelujah. See you guys shortly. I can eat that. Available now. Available now. Nom nom nom. Nom nom. Nom 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 nom. You're a weirdo. Welcome back. We will now uh, resume with uh, you guys. Just um, arriving at the previous Brotherhood encampment, and you see Ipten over there with uh, his uh, orange uh, fur just looking around. Oh, hi. Uh, good to see you've uh, made it, folks. Uh, any troubles on the road? No. Not really, just, uh, no. just a big party. Yeah, and that's not trouble, that was fun. More of a rubble. Hmm. And uh, oh. Draven popping his cherry, but in, not not in that way, in the other way. But Good job, you... my friend. Yeah, it was his first time. <laughs> uh, his first uh, cold-blooded killing. Well, well, then, what ask with who, but it's fine. I Good don't job. think he knows. It's your first kill. Oh. 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 I see. Oh, then... Well, uh, a kill that was not the normal kill. Uh, okay. <laughs> it was bad and Good not much. job. Yeah. Cool. Um, well, I just arrived here not too long ago. Uh, I think three hours or something. <clears throat> but um, I uh, believe... They've left some tracks leaving, leading uh, further south. Um, question. Do you know about the cliff that has a pit near it? Oh, and it's them? full of bodies? Well... A pit is a very specific thing. It's a hole. <laughs> I mean, I know that the cliffs are further south if we go. I um, I don't know of any pit. Draven has some information that says uh, that might be uh, Cabal's hiding, hmm. the Cabal's hiding place. And now with these uh, signs pointing that uh, they moved their encampment south, 
I think I start to see a connection here. Oh, also they've killed again. I thought you might want to know. Have you Was seen? it, I mean, any of the Brotherhood? Yeah, they've burned the person. And one of them was eating the meat from the b b still burning individual. I didn't know our brotherhood were cannibals. No, no, it's not your. It's the oh, oh, okay. Yeah. The hmm. people that might work with them. Oh or... well, in this case, this might be the blood bounds. What are they? What is the blood bound? Uh, I think uh, it was also <coughs> mentioned. <clears throat> when uh, you guys found that uh, letter um, Aranis's letter oh, right. it's um, w while I was still with the Brotherhood I uh, well we have been uh, assigned we we were tasked by Aranis to work with these uh, bloodbounds which are just and savages who believe in see if he knows blood or not. in bounds yeah they're just bloodlust creatures that are cannibal savages that all they know it's murder and blood baptizing i don't know they're just weirdos uh also because i forgot to mention it he could smell me and he called me tainted flesh oh but you don't smell that bad <laughs> I, I would say it's, a, it's an accurate description yeah but i thought it was weird you smell as good as my yeah, hair was rude. I, mean, I wasn't you looking see. like this i was actually disguised so. yeah but the smell is still there yeah, did you but... press the digitate yourself mister no. Why not? How about does prestidigitation help with the smells? I have, yeah. I had other things mm -hmm. on my mind at the moment. Well, like murder. <laughs> and no. how about questioning? <laughs> Intense questioning. Mm. Well, I agree that it was rude for him to call you out loud for smelling, but come on, it's accurate. I know. So, um, right. So, are they on to you? No, because it was. I mean, if they are on to us, I left a message for them, so maybe they'll think twice. Oh, what message? In my. Oh, it's not me, Draven. No, it's I, somebody I else. I want it to that... be something more uh, badass, but I think it was uh, kind of lame. I mean, maybe one does it. I just carved. Uh, I I I am coming for you in his flesh. So you tip them off. Yes. So. Let's hope they don't find the body. That's not a smart thing to do. I'm not gonna. I mean, I'm gonna say this. It's a very accurate and nice message. I'm, I think you didn't screw the pooch this time. It's not lame, it's cool. And as I say this, I will encircle you doing a la di da di da skip. And with my uh, woodshot and lantern that I will open and close very quickly, uh, you will see like puffs of uh, very nice odor uh, <laughs> uh, puffing your body and enveloping you in a very nice scent of, you say, a cool flower that you like. Jasmine. Jasmine. Mm -hmm. I'm presently digitating you. Who's Jasmine? <laughs> <laughs> um, do you have any means, any of you, of disguising yourselves? I can... Uh, uh, yes, look, and I put my cloak on. <laughs> gather with my clothes so far, and I have a mustache. <laughs> um, can I have a mustache yes. too? The blood on... I was... can make two people invisible. Okay. The black one was dressed in a robe, right? Or something? Like no, he was um, bare chested. He just had um, sort of a um, uh, trousers of sorts, but um, more like a skirt of sorts, a very tribal looking uh, skirt. I have a maybe dumb idea. Um, could we inscribe ourselves with the symbols of the blood bound and maybe with. 
Will Galbert. I mean, I can make myself look like one of them, but... Right. Go ahead, a set of painting tools, right? Bro! Not I like... You can paint me, I will let you experiment. Uh, 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 um, uh, 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 where I my, where my will sleeve. you look? Oh, okay, so just uh, revealing my skin. Oh. Just you know, on your arm there. Just <laughs> looks like this. Sorry. And he he, he, like he draws an Does like an X like... and he cuts the oh, X and he did he the symbol. Do I have any? Oh, do they have a circle Memory. like like Memory. like this and just like scribbles and like you, you, you don't, <laughs> don't discern what that is. It's just a. No. It's, okay. This, it's a masterpiece. It's fine. This part, this plan can uh, we'll call it Plan B. Let's just go there and don't appreciate my work. Invisibility. It's top quality work there. So cut. Goba, how? I've just been through a traumatic moment, Goba. Oh, I've been a. I have a traumatic moment. <laughs> He's the definition of trauma. And when you open the. And drama. Diction, not drama. Come on. Your. You know, your love life is bland and all that. Well, well, well it's not. Because it's one sided. <laughs> anyway, I believe see. the word is unrequited. 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 Antiquated. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that old. You know what antiquated means. <laughs> so, Goba, if you were to uh, assess your uh, magical abilities, what would be the level of the spells you can cast? The top notch ones. Uh, uh, um, I can, the toppest level uh, possible. Would be. Four. Three. 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 I think, yeah. Most likely. Mm -hmm. Four. No, it's three. Three. Four. three. Four. So, what is a spell level? Basically, me and Goba, we can make two people each invisible. So, Ooh. four of us go. So, I can make myself look like one of them and yeah. stay near me. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll take. I can take children over there. And I can take Shelly. Alright. Um, and if. Uh, who's it? Oh, is he coming with us? Yes. Okay, I'm... cuz. Uh... I know we're not related, but I'm telling you, cuz, because you're the brother of my cousin, so that makes us related. Mm. Wink, no. wink. Right, yeah, makes sense. Wait. Yeah. What? No, 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 you oh. just keep conversing. I want to check something. Mm, well, <clears throat> to be honest, it is getting quite late, so we. This is a good place to camp, actually. Um, but um, I'm just thinking: Do we really need to go invisible? We can just attack. I mean. Yeah, but it's the element of surprises. You attack with panache. You're just not there, and then you uh, 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 stab his face. Blood, blood, blood. Suck his sword. She has a point. Um, we'll uh, we'll uh, think it would about it. Help to at least, you know, get the scout, get an idea of what we're dealing with, and scouting, uh, doing all of this could help. If you okay. have any means of disguising or making yourself invisible, of course, oh. he has a tick for he can also create a mustache. Uh, yeah. How good are you, uh, stealth? Because we're masters at it. I was about no to say, uh, <laughs> I can uh, be a good prowler, if anything. And, uh, right, just, right, uh, but, but just on the enemies. No, no. We're friends, right? Uh, we're. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I, I wasn't scared. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, it's all right. Yeah, I'll. Um, I believe I'm quite good at uh, finding hiding spots. Can I suggest that we make our camp less visible? Like maybe we don't start a fire. It um. It is an idea. Then we stay, I don't know, two people each in a shift, or well, maybe three. I wasn't, I was singing along with Shelly, I wasn't paying uh, attention, what? We want to make our camp less visible so we don't start a fire, and oh. we'll have two people shifts. 
What about magical fire or magical words with prestidigitation? Magical well, we can word. cuddle. Yeah, that can work. No. What? Cuddle is cuddle. also an option. Okay. okay. But I don't want to cuddle with Draven. He has such I'm... bony torso and cold skin. I can see but in you and Draven. Okay. I was about to say that I can sleep anywhere, but okay. <laughs> yes, you can sleep on my bed, and I'll just hug Sipi. <laughs> Aren't you a cold-blooded reptile? <gasps> yeah, I, I would like... I resent that very much. That is a misconception, <laughs> and I'm very warm inside. I I see. Okay, my, my that, mistake. That's very word. hurtful, children. I did not meant for it to be an insult. Well, the word comes with inch. Uh, That's right. Yeah, but he makes a good point. I would like to snuggle between Iftin and uh, uh, Sildrin. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the place to be. <laughs> okay. The penthouse of the camping. Um, mm. <laughs> then, then we'll put go by in between me and and Sildrin. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, uh, j- j- just don't roll over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll, I'll poke you with my sharp stick. <laughs> yeah. Cool. I will be the second watch. Who, okay. who takes watches? Yes, please. I can take a watch. With whoever wants. I want to do that job. I can also steal a watch. <laughs> he has a watch. I know. We're not one with watches, so... so. No. Oh, should we take the uh, watch together? Yeah. <laughs> Who would yeah. you like? Shelly or Goba? I mean, it's your pick. Not Goba. <laughs> if you want, okay. you can and, be um, with me. So <laughs> you too? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> but Yes, Raven, we can uh, oh, have yes. the watch together. Oh, okay. And I, you can be with CP. I feel rejected. Wait, but Goba can be with CP. Okay. But uh, what about Koba? Is gonna be with Ipin? Ipin. Ipin. Yeah. Ipin Are you can... gonna prowl again and... Hmm. I, I, I don't you. like this. I need to get you accustomed with the element of surprise. But where the second one? No, that's a fair point. I like surprises. Especially if they have the nice bow and you know, cute box. <laughs> if... Uh... <laughs> I mean presents. No. <laughs> if we survive through this, we'll hopefully get presents. So, who takes the first watch? So, I, I, it's uh, you two are second, so it means that uh, you two are first watch. Okay. Or, and, yeah, Goba with Dipton third. Me and Shelly? No, Shelly's taking with Raymond, right? One, mm-hmm. going with. They Wait. say they're together in a watch. Okay, and uh, Shelly and Sippy will be taking a watch, and Goba with... And Draven with the... Uh, yeah, and Goba with the... Okay, okay, cool. Yeah, sorry. So, the first, uh, the first um, sorry. watch <laughs> with um, both of you. Roll me perceptions, please. Uh, Sildren and Draven. Roll. Come on, baby. Oh! It's... Cocked? Yeah. It's a 12. 18. You're addicted to this. I see through space. And time. And time. With 18? I see sounds. I see 15 feet in front of me. (laughs) Clearly. Clearly. Mm. Infrared vision. (laughs) You can zoom in a little bit. My eyes just... As um, you're standing standing there, you do not have a a uh, fire this time, right? But, uh, and the thing is, uh, sky, it's quite clear, and um, the natural moonlight from uh, Cirilla uh, gives it somewhat visibility around. And um, you both see it as uh, hmm? question 
which uh, day is it today and uh, i'm asking this because i would like to know how much time we have until the blood moon you would hits. have two days left okay also as an extra side note um, you during the day this time you would have seen that um the sun and both the sun and cerilla are up on the sky and sometime they overlap but not fully which is another indication of the eclipse um, about to happen but i mean yeah you've seen them both on the sky just uh, quite close to one another but not intersecting yet but um so uh, you rolled uh, perception and um during this quite cold night you're staying there uh, very curled up i don't feel cold oh yeah this. true uh, but um as it's you're cold. watching there just uh, taking in the sounds of nature around something um, catches your glance both of you before you continue i would like to uh, uh, get one thing straight uh, in case it will become relevant mm -hmm. so um uh, uh, Windward uh, is with us. Windward. Yes, yep. yes. I just checked. That's why I was uh, so hyped oh, okay. up. <laughs> and he's most likely sleeping. I yeah. Uh, right. uh, and I was going to ask or on on which watch is Windward, if on any. If you want. Uh, I think he'd be closest to you. Yeah, so. so with us right now. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and uh, he would be depressed uh, yeah. for, because Whisper is missing. But uh, okay, just wanted to clear that out. Sorry. Go on. Right. But um, so you sad. do. Um, uh, spot um, looking uh, towards you from somewhere on the edge of this clearing that uh, there stands a very tall muscular figure that um, it's uh, quite furry and it has a very very long and impressive uh, gray mane with uh, intense, uh, deep, amber yellow eyes, as um, he um, looks uh, towards your uh, camp and uh, glances mainly towards you, Sildren. And I notice him. Yeah, you both notice him. And um, as uh, Drios looks uh, towards you he has uh, both of uh, he, you will know he wields uh, two very impressive uh, scimitars on the back of uh, um, on his back and he looks towards you with very uh, his usual very imposing uh, po pose imposing pose yeah. um, <laughs> and uh, he just stares towards you Sildred and says um, he gives you a gesture to come over. Uh, should I wake up Ibtin? I think you should wake up everybody. Oh. And... <laughs> Bled. Wake up. Oh, Mr. Freeman. Oh, What's happening? You. We have guests. <clears throat> uh, uh, yes. Are they nice guests? We don't know. Who is it? It's your cousin. <gasps> Which one? <laughs> Not Ibtin. Well, I have many because you have many brothers. You see this little goose. It's uh, my brother. It's uh, his. Uh, he was right there. No, I still see him. Is it the yours? Um. I'm quickly changing. Then she quickly changes. <laughs> <laughs> Riveting. <laughs> Okay. Are you sure you aren't just seeing things? Um, the thing is, if you were to look around, what's your passive perceptions? Sorry, I have them not. Um, you have one. Oh, 17. I'm very perceptuous. Passive perception is 17. Yeah. Yep. Superb. And uh, you, Shelly and Goba? Uh, so, like Goba Shelly. has an 11 uh, passive perception, and Shelly has uh, 13 that's okay it. perception and you rolled 11. 11. 
Okay, so only Shelly and uh, Draven uh, see it as um, and just um, you, Shelly, just wake up, you standing over there, uh, like trying to follow his movements, and uh, as soon as um, <laughs> he sees that, um, <laughs> like all of you are awake, just looks uh, still looking towards uh, Sildren and uh, does a uh, and uh, goes a little bit further into the forest. Um, so I will go and speak with Drios, and okay. you just uh, don't stay too far behind. Okay. Okay. And dip him. Oh, <clears throat> he would wake up. Uh, you see, uh, he he would just come towards the children and say, uh, um, "You want me to come with you, or do you want to discuss this with your brother uh, only?" This might concern you as well, so it's up to you. I'll um, I'll keep an eye on you. I I'll let you do the talking, but know that. I won't be far behind, if anything. I'll uh, take Windward with me. Okay, and I might add, because this is a family matter, CP will go in a bush, turn invisible, and follow Sildred. Yeah, fair, fair. Hobart will stay way behind. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll protect you from, from the back, just in case anybody comes over here. You do that, Goba. Mm. I will okay. be in the shadows. Yeah, cool. As oh. what do you do in the shadows? And <laughs> as uh, you take a few steps uh, inside the um, forest, uh, again trying to trail where uh, Drios went, you end up in a, a small patch of land which um, it's a bit less dense in terms of vegetation, and uh, he's just. Um, um, staring there, only the moonlight uh, illuminating him slightly as um, he looks towards you, Sildren, saying uh, I believe uh, I have to... I have some answers that I need to give you though um, before that, let me tell you that I'm sorry, little brother, for the predicament I find myself in. Uh, Sildrin just uh, sits quiet for, uh, for a few good seconds. Can I trust you? Now, yes, though. I'm not sure how much time I have of my own free will. And, um, what? and uh, as such, it uh, pains me to do this, but, um, and then he unsheets one of the scimitars and says, I need you to turn back now and don't come f any further. Uh, yeah. Towards me? Yeah. I'm manifesting my weapon, but it's invisible. I reach for my axe in the bush. I'm raising my hand and trying to cast the spell, but not now. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, um, uh, not Sylvain, but me. I'm a bit confused. He wants me to stay back or? and uh, not uh, go any further uh, into whatever like you wish to investigate in here. Don't oh. try. Uh, he will say basically, don't try to to come find uh, the brotherhood because of my mistake. The brotherhood is gone. All of them, not all of them. Just Those who blindly followed orders are still around. And Sildre. Just please do it for me and turn back now. I 
I'm not sure I can do that. I, in the whole brotherhood's absence, I took over. I consider it, I consider I took over the brotherhood. I didn't, I did not even know if you were alive, any of you. And I will try to rescue the rest of the brotherhood. Maybe even you. Or maybe you will be the last body on that pit on which you... The one deal which you feel. I prepare all the parts. I've... This... I take full blame for what happened. Um, I got tricked by this elven snob. You remember that night when we were approached. Initially, the contract was to just uh, make sure nothing uh, dangerous happens during uh, a more, uh, in, a, in a more less morally encounter in Cicera. And uh, that went down in a shit show. But when I went to confront the elven snob, it was too late. I was already under his influence, his mind control. Words of that stupid orb. Where does he keep that orb? Is it on his person? Yes. And um, I, uh, I'm sorry to say this, that. I I don't see a, a way out of it, not unless either that pastor is dead or just just the thing it's dealt with, the globe, I don't know. Though um, now that I'm quite clear-headed, I would much like to if needed, by force, make you turn back, or otherwise our next encounter, I might not be under my own control. And I don't want to think of what I would do to my little brother. At least now I know that I'll do this on my own consciousness. Let me pump me. I ended the contract. I understand, brother. And if I can, I will help you. I will save you. If not, I forgive you. But if during the battle you regain your will, try to clear a path. Try to steer them away. And I will end it for you. I can't. I can't assure you that will happen, which, which is why, in this mm, small moments in which I have my consciousness, I need to know you will not uh, go any further south. Don't make me do this. As he pulls out the other scimitar, and uh, I would like to. Give you a hug first, and then if you want, we can battle. Persuasion check. Oh. He's been waiting for this. If I casually go on his left shoulder and say, that's a good idea, Dion, let's do this, does he get advantage? <laughs> uh, that might just make things... It was a joke, like I'm the angel. You have per That's a six. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, I'd rather see how much you've grown lately. Show me your strength, little brother. If you can defeat me, then at least I know you might stand a chance of what's to come. That is fine. But I will give you a hint. 
you might be outnumbered. And I call him Siltuir. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when... Uh... Can I come out now too? <laughs> Uh, when, when you do that, okay. uh, you see a bit of um, awe on his face and so, so amazement that uh, what, what kind of magic is this? I mean, it's mm, feels a bit similar in a way. Similar to that coward armored coward that I saw fleeing the tall one I believe so it was you've called. met the lunar champion then yes how are you still alive he ran we did not fight well what I can say is that he is quite a of a cunning individual he chooses his battles well quite uh, and it's helped by the power of illusory magic, but how did you get these powers? It seems when he failed his duties, I became the lunar champion in his stead. He is shocked at this point, like trying to understand how, why and all that, but Show me these powers then. I turn my head back towards the party and shout to them Do not intervene. Oh hey. you hear that from a shrub, you know. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to see you still kept the honor of our pride. And I uh, um, uh, caress uh, Windward and say only oh. intervene when the fight ends to break us off okay well children oh, versus drills initiative okay. <laughs> okay. big bro versus little bro Make me proud. <laughs> let's give him something like guidance or okay we don't have a bard um children did say to not uh, intervene yeah. It's your choice now, if you want, but... Uh... I'm gonna use mage hand to tie the shoelaces. <laughs> <laughs> For Drios. Mm. Oh, no! <laughs> he wears uh, sandals. And he's like, haha, bitch, it's Velcro. Uh, he wears, like, two <laughs> 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 90, I think. Let me... Uh, okay, give me a second, because I'm getting his stats up. Let me roll. With him rolling. Okay. Yeah. How much did you say? Nineteen. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, okay. Cool. Then um, you go first. Okay. So uh, Sildrin uh, uh, takes his uh, uh, smasher. Mm -hmm. in his hand and a, sil a, mist, a cylinder of mist uh, engulfs him well um, and uh, now he he starts uh, to get a bit of a, a glow like uh, siltwin and um, he looks uh, like he's just a little bit transformed okay. As a, with a bonus action, I will uh, activate Form of Dread. Ooh. Yep, so uh, I need to roll some temporary hit points. That's cool. Uh, it's a one. <laughs> it's a seven. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, um, cool. eight temporary, that is. And... So that's your action to... Uh, that, that is a bonus act. Uh, yes, bonus act. Okay, okay. And then I'll... Uh, uh, me and Seltin will uh, uh, 
uh, what's that uh, called? Uh, we, we'll split like this and try to so kind of flank. Yeah, yeah uh, flank. Thank yeah. you. And um, uh, I'll uh, have a few shots, and so we'll see. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, so uh, I'll go easy at first, <laughs> <laughs> and I will uh, uh, try to smash him twice. And that is um, an 11. Miss. Yeah. And the second uh, swing uh, will be harder with a minus 5. Ah, okay. And that is a 26 uh, minus uh, 21. Okay. Yep, that will hit. Okay. <laughs> so let's see. That's uh, 10 plus 24 slashing. Uh, no, uh, bludgeoning because now I have the hammer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Also, um, roll me a uh, perception. A perception. Yeah. Okay, I'll roll a perception. And I will have one more attack to do. Uh, that is a 10 perception. Uh, how much did you say the damage was? Sorry. 24. Okay, and um, uh, from the flank position, uh, Siltwin will also make an attack. So I, I will make an attack through Siltwin, <laughs> uh, also with a big swing, and that is uh, under 10. Yeah, to hit. Okay, so that was it for the first round. So with his um, two scimitars out, he starts deflecting some of the attacks, except for one um, of yours, which quite took him a bit by surprise. Um, he was a bit used with you not having such reflex or anything, and yeah, you quite surprise him with this uh, whack over. He starts bleeding a bit on the color of your mouth, just like um, gr grins a little bit towards you, smiles. Um, and says, I see, good, and um, he will, um, on his turn now, will um, first, uh, why not, use a second wind to like <clears throat> pump himself up a little bit and regain some of that uh, hit points back. Uh, Wait, I I rolled the wrong die. This one. Die. <laughs> okay. So he will regain a little bit. And uh, afterwards, after he cracks a little bit his neck and everything, he will um, go for um, um, two attacks. Okay. First one. It's a, uh, that's work, uh, 24. Second one, it's uh, 25. Damn. Yeah. Okay. How far away are we? I'm mm, I'm around right. like 30 feet, we'll say. Well, I'm right next to the whole situation. And um, on his first attack, he will, um, uh, <laughs> feel some uh, hellish rebuke and he needs to make a dexterity saving throw. Yeah, um, from the total uh, it will gonna be 19 points of damage from the attacks towards you. Oh, I, I, I sub subtracted 24 and 25 hit points. No, 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 no sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> that, was, that was hard to hit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, the damage is 19. Okay. Total. Nice. Well, it's better. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, oh damn, he's thrashing me. <laughs> <laughs> and um, then you said I need to, uh, dex, yeah? yeah. Uh, dex save, yes. I'll tell you the DC in a moment. It's 19 plus stuff. Oh, okay, no, no. Yeah, he, uh, does he take half damage? Yes, he yeah. takes half damage. <laughs> and that is... Uh, 12, so 6. 6. Fire damage. Fire! Awesome. Fire. Okay. <laughs> and um, that would be his turn. Oh, okay. And, uh, I tell him, your aim is just as good, but let's see if we take it up a notch. How? 
will you manage? And uh, Celtrian will do an all-out uh, an all-out uh, round. Mm. He will do his uh, Nova round. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, so that would mean, uh, let's see, it's uh, two. Uh, so it's uh, six attacks, and if he crits, maybe seven. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have. Uh, let's see, six. Uh, can I have one more D twenty, please? Okay. Oh yeah. no! Don't take the. <laughs> no! You are gonna roll! Okay. I rolled um, a natural one! <laughs> all of them are uh, big swings. Uh, oh, with a minus five. Yeah. Ooh. Yoga, like myself. <laughs> so let's Very see. Nice to uh, <laughs> now I have a this plus three, so I have an 18. A uh, hit. Okay. Uh, that's under 10. Uh, that's an 11. Uh, 17? Uh, hits. Okay. Uh, 13. 13 miss. Miss. And that's a... Uh, uh, 9. Damn. Okay. So, uh, two attacks only. And... Um, uh, let's see the damage. Uh, it will be... 3 million. Uh, so it's two, <laughs> and then um, uh, with seven, that's nine, plus uh, uh, eight, okay, and then ten, it's, uh, it's uh, 17, 20, 27? What is it? What? <laughs> no, seven, uh, 20 again? Uh, 27. 27, 27 oh. slashing, and... He needs to roll some wisdom saves against being frightened. Oh, twice, once for each, uh, or, or is it once for Let each? me see, doesn't Leonins have anything that could... Uh... Uh, as a bonus action, yes, uh, but uh, to, to cause fear. Oh, but... to cause fear, yeah, yeah. So let me see if it's So they uh, don't once... have... Okay, cool. Once on each of their turns, so oh, he only needs to throw only okay. a saving throw. Wisdom. Mm-hmm. This is 13. 18 plus. Oh, oh damn. Okay. okay. Then, um, as a bonus action, um, a daunting roar. So, that is another wisdom saving throw against Which being like frightened. Seldrian uh, really wants to win this one. Yeah. <laughs> it's a 14. Ah, he's frightened. <laughs> Oh my god! Scaredy cat! Okay. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Seldrin is, uh, is happy about it. He sees it in his eyes, and that is his stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay. Basically, I can't get any closer to you, but uh, can attack you with disadvantage, right? Yeah, I think, I think that's what yeah. it says. Cool. So, uh, yeah, after you roar, uh, says, uh, <laughs> mm, you've developed quite the growl, little cub. <laughs> and, um, yeah, you see him a bit, uh, that he not really relaxes, but he's not as uh, that imposing demeanor he once had. It's a bit more, you know. He might be quite strong, like, you know, we messed a bit with him. Yeah. yeah. So, um... Oh, and roll me another perception check. Another perception check. Yes. Let's change the type. And that's season 18. Okay. Um, as soon as you're doing also these flanking maneuvers and during all of these... Uh, all of these uh, combat moves, <laughs> you, due to your powers and connection to Lissim, um, even if you were looking around, the rest of you don't see it, only you see it, that on the back of uh, his head, there seems to be some sort of a um, silvery thread that's almost like uh, very h- hard to notice, but 
it seems to be some sort of a magical connection string that's attached to the back of uh, his neck. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's nice. Okay, and... Um, on his turn, he will go Nova as well, why not? Yeah. <laughs> as a... F uh, wait, I just need to make sure that... Um, what do you call it? Uh, the... Action Surge. Action Surge. It doesn't need bonus action or anything. No, no, it just no, happened. No, it just okay. happens. Well, in this case, um, he will first, as a bonus action, rage. As oh, he will let yeah. out a, uh, a impressive roar that uh, just makes all of the critters around just scatter. As, uh, <laughs> as, uh, you see, good. I see you've become stronger. Uh, I've always wanted you to face me at my full strength. And um, yeah, so he will rage. Mm -hmm. And then, using as well um, mm, action, surge. action Surge, he will take uh, four attacks. Both reckless. Uh, all of them reckless. Ooh, oh, I like it. Oh. <laughs> ah, <laughs> yeah, you yeah. do. I hope I like it. Hadeva. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. That, okay. That, one that hits. Might... I mean, wait. One. It's yeah. It's a uh, twenty. Yeah. Seventeen. Second armor one. Um, uh, twenty something. Yeah. Second. Okay. Third one. Okay. This might miss. Um, it's fourteen. So misses. Misses. Yeah. Okay. And the last misses. one. Misses. Uh, it's a uh, twenty-three. Okay. So three, so three attacks. Let's uh, take them like like a champ. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice, so. Oh, you need more dice. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Quick, hide your dice. No, I don't, I don't use dice. I can give you mine. Quickly use the dice. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe corrupt your whole dice pool. Okay. I think this one was yours, right? Yeah. Thank you. Welcome. 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 Welcome to the house. Okay, math time. You okay. So... Wait in line to be sucked. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Yes. Every time is good sucking time. Yes. <laughs> it's my wife. <laughs> 34 points of damage. Damn. Damn. How is Seldrin looking? Oh, he's a. Uh... <laughs> He's uh, bloody and a bit rough. Okay. He's uh, uh, fight is not over yet. As uh, I see him, could I perhaps roll a um, what was it? A uh, a, a, a word healing of word. healing word. Thank you. A word of um, <laughs> Roll me first initiative to see when you would do this. Another <laughs> one. Oh, oh no! Let's no, dice. It's, it's the never. Never. <laughs> <laughs> Just take that one it's of the table. Two. Two. <laughs> Actually, that's good something. because oh it's after. Uh, yeah, exactly. Videos. So you could do this. Oh, I will. Can, like, can we intervene? Behind a tree. Uh, healing word. Healing he word. said no, but let us kill. 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 Let they can also hold person and he will. <laughs> uh, give me a D8, please. Oh, D what? D8. He wants the 8. Please. Yes. Yes. It's a four one. <laughs> <laughs> wow. A three, so a four. And a, uh, an 8 plus uh, 7. It's a 15. 15. Yeah. 15 HP back. <laughs> okay, that that is something. As I cast the magical words, <laughs> hmm? <laughs> right. Okay, cool. yeah, 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 I Right. And it's cool. And they start to the life it. right back into him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so with okay, that, it's your turn now, so Okay. <laughs> Seeing that I am revigorated, he was I uh, yell uh, uh, loudly and with a roar. Mm -hmm. Stay back! Don't interfere! I didn't! <laughs> <laughs> the bush is here back! <laughs> Aww! 
But uh, Sindrim uh, will uh, smile Chilly. a bit uh, in the corner of his uh, mouth because um, he knows that yeah. his friends. You, you don't see that, but yeah. mm -hmm. Sindrim appreciates it. He's so steamy. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, yeah, seeing that he's looking bad, uh, uh, Sildrin will also second wind. Mm -hmm. So let's see, D10, where did I put my D10s? Uh, so that is a measly 8. Okay. okay, so he's looking a lot better already, but uh, he will continue until one of us uh, goes down, I ask uh, Grioz. Yes, if you go down, you are to flee this area. Oh, damn. I do not agree to the terms. <laughs> and then uh, smash him, uh, uh, let's see, two more times. Uh, also with big attacks. And do you have advantage because he went reckless? Oh, damn! Okay, so uh, let's see. First attack. That is a crit. Uh, so that will be a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's see. I have this. I have uh, 12. Um, that's 18. Uh, 18 plus 8 is 26. Plus 20. 46 slashing damage. Uh, 46? Yeah. 46? Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah, that will do. Oh, really? Oh, really? Uh, he's a weakling. It's... Yeah. I, I wanted to do w one more thing with my uh, last Unleash incarnation, and uh, that is, I would have liked to uh, ask uh, for a Silk Twin to try to uh, cut the wire. Uh, be behind him, see if that does anything. I don't know if it does, but okay, that's what I would aim for. Keeping him alive, <laughs> 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 and, and roll me like an arcana check. Okay, he has a bound in his <gasps> I'll use the crit <laughs> die. <laughs> um, <laughs> if we hear a tick tick, we are done for. <laughs> tick, tick, that's an 11. Okay, so um, can I roll with the you... With uh, Windworld stats, if he notices or uh, Windboard that... the wizard? Wolf? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I don't know natural no, The thing is, uh, you're the only one seeing this. Okay. Maybe because of your connection to this him, or who knows. <laughs> okay. But, um, okay, so you want to... Uh... I want to try to cut that, okay. that thread with uh, Silk and if that okay. possible. Can you bite it? So, as... Um, uh, soon as you do that, like Siltrin, Siltrin cuts through the uh, thread, but uh, kind of seems to go through as it reforms afterwards. Like, it, it splits for a bit, yeah. but then uh, sort of entwines and forms. Okay, in. that is still nice to know. And um, you knock him unconsciously. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, and, uh, yeah, describe it how you do the moves. And so, um, yeah, I prepare another uh, round of uh, multiple attacks and uh, I, uh, I uh, try to hit him once. I uh, guess he parries. And then I try, I hit him with, uh, with the handle of the mm -hmm, hammer mm -hmm. and uh, hit him in the face and he goes. Yeah. down his back yeah and um yeah he falls and uh just stares there really like you yeah you're not him good that conscious okay it's, yeah i have been defeated <laughs> yeah <laughs> like um Call street fight ooh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> yeah so um, good job what do you do can i try to tie him is, does he stay unconscious for long enough for me to tie yeah, him? Yeah. Do you have rope? I, I mean, we yeah. have rope. Yeah. I want to do that. And mm -hmm. I would like to put him, um, so I would just put him like on the belly, on the back of uh, Windward. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And come with him back uh, to the camp. Mm -hmm. nice. um, I think this is also the first time, if I'm not mistaken, when uh, Ibtin saw you fight. 
because uh, in Isinabel he yeah. remained uh, behind. Yeah, behind, and uh, he um, after this he looks towards you. That's impressive to see how much you've grown, children. Wow, that was impressive fight over there. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, the party saw me the first time yeah, using yeah. these yeah. powers as well. Yeah. So uh, well, Sandrine will say, I had months to train while you were uh, gone, but this is not all my doing. What do you mean? I have an imprisoned god that is helping me. Oh. I... Don't worry, we have a long road ahead. I will tell you. And uh, what about uh, Driors? What do you intend to do with him? I'll just let him uh, slip it up for now. And if he told me he's being controlled and that he doesn't know if yeah. he can, uh, uh, yeah. if he can uh, have uh, his own will if a battle comes. But uh, I intend to release him uh, before we attack. You know if any means of doing it? I hope that if he comes to his own uh, will during the fight, he will help us. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, I'd still advise cautious. You never know that if when he wakes up, he might not be himself. That's right. Let's uh, use two more ropes and tie him hmm. very Great. good. Just uh, let's try not to cut off his uh, blood flow. Mm. Understood. Uh, what if we, t we cut the uh, opposing thumb so he cannot hold the new weapons anymore? <laughs> you can do even better if you want to cripple him. You can cut off his big toes and he won't be able to fight anymore. Mm. But we don't want to do that. He's my brother, your cousin. That's... I was about to ask, isn't he your brother? I mean, damn. I, I, I was just telling Zolux the proper way to uh, oh, get came, someone. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. But we won't do that, Zolux. Are we the baddies? No. <laughs> I think so. But if you want to do something... Bad guys? <laughs> you should at least know how to do it Welcome if you want. to reality. <laughs> oh, there goes gravity. <laughs> right. So, yeah. so you then go we back and resume yeah, the campaign? We still have about three hours of... Uh, so short rest. <laughs> Sildrin uh, needs uh, his rest yeah. after this fight. Um, Would you like a massage? Yes. <laughs> From please. Draven. But I'm not. He's horrible. I'll take any massage right now. I can heal you, but I think you'll heal yourself. Oh, oh, no, oh, but oh, I... oh, oh, I. No. What? I can help with that. And wait, he's gonna. Where's the bell? <laughs> Sildrin will uh, tell you that uh, it's not the wounds, it's the exhaustion from the fight. Uh, so his features. His, uh, <laughs> I, I think he's yeah. never been this drained before. Okay. So, uh, okay, second win is gone, that is gone. Uh, oh, sure. That is also gone on that. Okay. I have uh, I have two transformations left. That is literally all wow. I have. I, wow. I've spent everything else. In set <laughs> battle here. What I'm going, to, what Sip is going Whoa. to do, it will take after after. Okay, you. it will take a uh, like a, a brush that she has, like this shape, this size. Dip it into water and then go between Sildrin's Sildrin's ears and pet like this, you know, because oh. and, and when I pet I say. I read somewhere that this uh, reminds you when your mother used to lick your head as a cup and should relax you. Are you feeling relaxed? Oh, oh, oh I have just the thing that will relax you, my boy. And I, I put the, like a pint of fermented goat milk and pat you on the back and uh, I cast your wounds. And it's mm -hmm. going to be uh, 16 plus 4 because I rolled really good. Uh, so 20 uh, HP max, basically. Okay. Yeah. Like, 
Max. Yeah. yeah. With uh, friends like yeah. you, we are sure to succeed. We are family, but okay. And friends and family. And, and acquaintances. Especially acquaintances. <laughs> and good friends. And mm -hmm. I bet uh, we were. Yeah. And uh, oh, it didn't uh, wow. tell us you. Hmm. Oh, yeah, you found yourself quite some trusty fellas right here. I'm proud and I'm sure deep down Durios is as well. I know he he still cares and I look at him uh, knocked out. Yeah. I go also pet Drios. <laughs> what happened to you? You used to be such a sweet little boy. He's older than me with one year, I think. Uh, you're older uh, the, with one year than him. Oh, wow. I'm the oldest. Damn. Yeah. Damn, son. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> right. So, um, the rest of the night goes uneventful. You all wake up rested and um, are met with um, a somewhat cloudy day. But other than that, what do you wish to do at this point? We still have uh, one day to yeah. the... Uh, yes. Today, the next basically. day would occur the eclipse. Yeah. Do we know yeah, the yeah. hour? So not today. Do we Tomorrow. know the hour? Like it's a noon, it's... Um, roll me a... What to this? Intelligence check. Yeah. All out of us. All of us. Can we? Yeah. You know yeah, what? yeah. Oh, wait. I have I to... I will roll my, with my so, curse back. Great intelligence. Okay, let's try it. Uh, oh, wow, uh, Dover has plus one. I didn't know. Yes. I rolled a four. 19. Oh, five. five. I rolled a one and a two, so I'm going to use. Roll with I don't know. Shelly and Gobar basically just. Yeah. <laughs> on the same <laughs> fucking also, level, I'm man. Also on the, I, I rolled a four, so all three of us were going to say. La 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 la. It's so close. Yeah, it looks like a, like a scarf. Oh, um, that looks like a duckling. I define... think that's a moon and that's the sun, and that is reverse. <laughs> <laughs> the fine day. <laughs> it is a fine day, yes. Yes, it's a I... fine day. Yeah. You rolled 19. 19? Okay. Yeah. Well, Surprisingly. At least one of us. <laughs> so, how can I. During these days when you've been traveling, you saw that at this point the sun and Cyril are both uh, up on the sky. And you did notice a little bit that around um, 11, 12, 12 uh, a.m. in the morning. It's when uh, probably the eclipse would happen. Eclipse. Okay, yeah. Uh, Roughly uh, around that. Um, we... Although I have to make uh, one, uh, uh, actually, do we have multiple suns here? No, no. Okay, because um, uh, moon eclipses uh, can only happen at uh, night. No, uh, it's solar eclipse. It's solar eclipse. Yeah. Oh damn. Okay, yeah. Don't. Why did you do that? Not, not eleven a.m. Not during second breakfast. You can uh, wake up earlier and uh, have your second breakfast before the fight. Just make yeah, sure you don't get cheating. the tummy ache. Cheeky. Cheating. And cheeky. 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 You eat chicken. Chicken pamaja. All right. So. Chicken nuggies. Um. <laughs> chicken nuggies. Right. Um, at this point in the morning, also. Um, Drios will slowly wake up very groggy, uh, realize where that is tied up. <sighs> Untie me, brother. Not yet. <laughs> Are you yourself? For now, yes. How does this control work? I don't know, he just uh, empowers this globe at his own will and just uh, just then my mind goes blank and I then sort of time skip and I'm somewhere else without previous memory of 
what I'm doing. Just... <sighs> he looks towards uh, Ipten and says, uh, tr please trust me, brother. I didn't want all that blood and massacre, the blood of our brothers on my hands. Um, if this is, I, I know, I know. I've, and then addresses you. It's true, it's when Aranis wills it, well, the Drio just becomes a puppet. Does he needs to be present in order for that to happen? The Zaranis needs to see no. Drios. No. Uh, th th <clears throat> actually, Drios will say, mm, no, it can be done remotely, so... So if I release you, he could activate it and you would lose your mind. Wait, release me? What? what if I mean? release you from the restraints, and he happens to activate that orb. Yeah. He, yeah, who knows what I might do to you. And please just let me go. I don't want this to happen. And who knows what I might, what mistakes I might do that I won't be aware of. They might already be tipped off due to an ego message, an egotistical message. So, I won't take that chance. I will release you before the battle. If you will regain your will, maybe you will ask, uh, will, maybe you will help like I've asked. It's, uh, divert them. It's, it's not very probable that... I know. If a fight happens at... Uh, the Blood Moon Altar, then uh, I'll definitely not be under my own will. And um, so he's tied only like his hands and that's it. So I'm uh, thinking um, he's, uh, you know, like in cartoons where uh, the cowboy, uh, he's uh, just uh, like this and okay. with, with a ribbon on top, <laughs> <laughs> that's it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, he, okay. I want him to be fully mobilized. Uh, okay, so yeah, I get you. Fitted. But after he finishes uh, that sentence... And with three ropes in total. Hmm? Three ropes in total, if he breaks yeah, yeah. one. But um, <laughs> at, uh, after you say that, um, you see that, like the thread, you saw it very thinly. Now, um, almost glows imagine like some sort of a pulse getting through mm -hmm. as uh, just uh, the silvery aura intensifies as uh, from who knows where this uh, magic goes towards the thread and uh, you see Drios's um, eyes just uh, become uh, milky white fully milky white as uh, he's there and just uh, like he tries to roll around like and try to get away sort of what do you want to say is this spell magic you don't see this oh i don't see, um, do see I, I would um yeah, but i will not uh, be able to okay know exactly the location so it's not uh, you, you can you, you, you don't need to okay. spell magic just uh okay. yeah dispel magic uh, roll uh, me uh what's your uh, let me let me double check yeah i want to double check <laughs> what level, by the way? Uh, three. Okay. Because uh, this would uh, nullify uh, spells of third or lower. Mm -hmm. But uh, I need you to actually roll me something. The DC is equal to 10 plus the spell's yeah. level. So roll me a uh, wisdom, I think, right? It's, yeah, uh, yeah. Check. In a moment. It's not the first, it's not the first. <laughs> Do you want to borrow a die? <laughs> Twelve. Twelve. Maybe Baro uh, would die. Take, maybe I'll take throw this them. one. You want to start it again? Unfortunately. No, okay. 
there... want to cast it again? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what I was about to say. That uh, it doesn't prevent you from casting it again. If you no, right. I'm <laughs> just say. Oh shit! A nineteen. <laughs> a nineteen Damn. plus four. So. There we go. So the I first know. time, um, um, Sildren points to you and tells you about this uh, feather and everything, and uh, you try to dispel it. Though the nature of this magic, it's a bit unfamiliar to you and the first attempt you only like try to connect with the essence of this magic and you can't quite dissipate it but after take a moment take a breather you're, you're like i think i know <laughs> and mm, i have it now and as um Drios is there still struggling like his eye is milky white he's at this point trying to roll to get away and uh, he's starting to try to break out um, break free uh, you at that point you now that you have a better understanding of this magic you focus your powers into it and um, <clears throat> only you you see this uh, and you would see probably the silhouette of it as it envelops uh, this uh, thread as um, it pulsates, it pulsates and glows to a point where uh, on the back of his neck uh, this silvery patch just dissipates and the, the thread and the pulse just vanishes. And uh, Drio is, uh, is there like still rolling over and uh, then uh, wakes up. It happened again, didn't it? Yes, well, but I think it's gone now. What do you mean? It's gone. I can see his. I can see your tether to him, and it's no longer there. Draven did it. I don't know. I just whooped. <laughs> Comes to you and hugs you, lifts you up a little oh. bit, uh, and after puts you down. Let's go kill those bastards. Question, Is was he sent a tether there before? Uh, uh, we would uh, ask uh, questions. Yeah, he, he was, uh, it was, uh, the, the thread was there all the time. Yeah. And even now it's gone. Even when it was deactivated. Is the bond still there? The thread? Yeah, 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 even when it was deactivated, yeah. So it's still there? No, mm -hmm. no, it's not. The bond? No. no. And I would tell you all, Shirley, CP, I think I've got my brother back. Oh, that's so endearing. No. I go Let's go him. grab the others. I'm Shelly. I would uh, I, anti. I'm. Yeah, yeah I'm Drio. in no position. Well, actually, he couldn't. I mean, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> but uh, moving. <laughs> um, Balls cracking. He, um, I would like to go and hug him <laughs> and say, "It's nice to know we have you back." It's good to see you again, CP. But I'm how? Fun. Wait, how did? Why are you here? I mean, it's a long story. And we'll have plenty of time no. today. Let me check your back again. And I want to quickly look again for an arcana if he has anything remaining or something, you know? Fine. Again, you would be the only I one. I take up, you know, not... fluffs of hair and specks of dust and be like, there you go. You had this camo. <laughs> <laughs> one scamo, <scum and> that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I heard something else. All right. So uh, now with uh, Drios, with you guys, Drios, uh, with uh, you guys, um, yeah. On the way there, he will keep on apologizing to you. He said that uh, like all of this is his fault. He sees no. Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, redemption in okay. what he did. I would that... point him to Draven and I would explain that he sucks people dry <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, of blood. Wait. Of blood. <laughs> and, uh, Draven sucks. Also, I have people a question. Dry. Do you by chance know, because I get this urge to ask this question, a place with cliffs and a pit? Yes, I'll take you to the Blood Moon Altar. Oh, it's where they're yeah. preparing. It's where they're preparing for uh, the ultimate ritual. I did things, uh, guys. <laughs> for what? What's for the, the ultimate what? ritual? 
Uh, I don't know the exact details, but the Bloodbounds are preparing something big. With and corpses? With, yeah, but you know yes. the name. I mean, hmm? you know the name is the Ultimate Ritual. What is it about? What's the Ultimate Ritual? Do you want me to suck your pussy? <laughs> <laughs> if I can see it through your eyes. Um, Stop offering to suck people. You can trust him. He can give you a little it's bite. Fine, though I do not know any of the details. I know that it no. involves uh, the blood bounds. Actually, let me see what you know. He can even uh, look at memories that okay. you don't know you have. Um, and um, right. he will say that uh, those savage blood bounds, they believe they can, I don't know, tear open a portal to find Keneka. So I do not know what that is, but I, the ritual seems quite important. And now with the blood moon happening, Have I you believe. Have of the Scarlet Oppressor? Yeah, okay. I had the theory, but... I'm not sure how much you would have uh, said... Uh, About the Scarlet Oppressor? Yeah. Wait, I mean, he knows... Was he there when the tragedy no, fell no, no. upon my family? No, only if you told him uh, when uh, you went then to Eloquenza. Well, yeah, everyone would have known okay. from my family. Then, um... I guess he wouldn't know exactly the term. He would just be oh, okay. known as a Red Dragonborn. Uh, but if you were to describe him, then Drios will look at towards you. This Scarlet Oppressor is the same one. Yeah, I don't know. Why are you Palmer? asking about because him? Because I thought that the Brotherhood and the Bloodbounds work with the Scarlet Oppressor. Oh, what? Uh, the Bloodbounds work only with um, that couple. Uh, well, they uh, are part of the cabal, and uh, it's those uh, murderers, the blood bounds with uh, Aranis. Aranis. Uh, with Aranis and the lunar champion. But what about were... the elven snob? You're right. uh, that, that's Aranis. His Aranis. Aranis. Yeah. Okay. And that's... the orb? Was it called the orb of Keneka per chance? No. Or I you don't can't know? remember saying any you do names. not recall, okay. But uh, Sindarin would like to take Goba a bit uh, uh, on the side. <laughs> as, Goba, as Goba speaks on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, uh, I had something in my mouth. Oh, okay. uh, some fur, you know, there are so many furry friends. Oh, oh, oh. Right. <laughs> what? <laughs> You have a connection with Tyrix, right? No, no, I don't. Um, Sildrin would know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he he's preaching Eric's all over the place. Oh, 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 oh! Just just because I'm preaching her, that that doesn't mean that we talk willy nilly. Like... Oh, I understand that, but you might know more. And but, if Drio said that. The ritual involves creating a portal to release Keneka. I'm thinking maybe we should let the ritual happen. But uh, I would try to modify it so that it releases Cyrilla instead. Well, is it, isn't Cyrilla the moon? You want to release the is the moon going to drop on us and, and kill us uh, all? No, what, what is the name of the moon? Listen. 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 To, to release, listen. Uh, oh, 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 I forgot the name of my deity. It's okay. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, 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 I take oh, back all the powers. <laughs> oh, are, we, are, 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 are we sure that's such a good idea? Uh, uh, if Lissim's imprisoned, maybe. She was put there for a reason, and maybe not because she was danger to other people, but maybe danger to herself. I think imprisonment has been long enough. And uh, uh, what? But just because she gave you some fancy powers and you can uh, create multitudes of yourself, which would be nice. I'd like to see like a, another gobber here and just 
take me point and just drink with him. But maybe... You have a point. I don't know much about Lissim. Right, right. So uh, uh, can you trust... I, I trust Eric because also you gave me a, a lot of cool sparkly powers, but... And is well documented. Right. Uh, but uh, she has temples this? and stuff. Did you ever see a temple of Lysip? And if you know, if you don't have a temple, then you don't exist. <laughs> what if? But um, let's see. What what if we can't stop the ritual, but just by modifying it, we can at least stop Keneka from being released. That is a better alternative. Yeah, but release Keneka. Right, but... Release Lysip. Wait. But we know how to change a ring. No, but uh, well, I'm thinking maybe go back and help. Here's an idea. If I you think. all convert to Eric's, maybe we can convince her to come down to the, the ritual site and stop it. Because she's like a goddess and shit and should have the proper power and ways to communicate with the other gods that don't probably exist but Eryx is the best and she can probably take it on by itself I am not an expert on religion but from what oh, I know I am from, I've written a book <laughs> from what I know Goba gods interfere only amongst themselves not Right, right, but so, technically, if Keneka is set loose, that would be one of themselves, and they should have interfered before just to. You, you get what I'm saying? D just to stop one of their own from coming back from prison, and it's their job to actually keep them in prison, right? You just. Maybe Xylo would have had an answer. I miss Xylo. But no, she would have started preaching about the toko and, you know, with the flowers and... Yeah, let's, let's just get there and we all start praying to Eric and see what happens, okay? It can't do any harm. Okay. I'll uh, see. I won't get any help from you, so... Uh... Oh, you can count on me to have you back, and I, I, I definitely have you back from way over there. <laughs> okay, Goba, I'll, uh, I would appreciate uh, that. All right, so uh, you travel for the rest of the day, and uh, Durios will uh, tell you that uh, you're getting quite close as you. Now uh, see that uh, the vegetation gets a bit more dense here and there. There are way more clearings, and uh, instead of uh, trees, now they're more shrubbery. But um, it's still getting quite late, and uh, up to you if you want to camp, push for the night. The rest you would be would, exhausted. Yeah, you would get exhausted. So, um, up to you guys. Uh, Sindrim will tell you that he won't think pushing would do any good if we're exhausted and yeah. we can't fight. So that's that's what he would vote for. Alright. All right. But uh, Sindrim would ask uh, more details uh, from um, Ibtin and Rios mm -hmm. about uh, that ritual uh, with the orb. Uh, like. What does he do exactly? How long does it take to take control of? Uh, mm -hmm. Or uh, actually, he would um, ask about the first time when that happened, like when the tether was created. Mm -hmm. um, he will uh, tell you. Drios will tell you that uh, it was um, that night after we went in. Cicera, when I went to confront Aranis and uh, demand the truth, um, it's when I saw the orb for the first time. All he had to do was just mutter some incantations and there I was. Next thing I know, my mind went black, blank and I just 
awoke with the blood of my brothers on my hands and I felt like my fate was sealed but now I can't thank you enough for breaking me out of this cursed existence you're welcome <laughs> can I suggest something how far away are we from the camp the uh, location of the blood bombs it would be a few more hours of travel around four um, hours five tomorrow is the blood moon, right we don't want to be outside how about we push into the night maybe we get exhausted maybe not and we try to end this tonight and not tomorrow if we're exhausted we won't be able to fight as well i'd rather risk it and have the ability to get out of there alive if we arrive too late what? rather than just go in to certain doom oh. what time is it hmm? what time is it uh right now it's around 10 in the evening what's the worst thing that could happen if we are uh, in the uh, light of the blood moon if it occurs it's not instant like uh, if the blood moon is there is not at the snap that you are taken by a very savage bloodlust there's also rumors um, no. regarding um, humans just transforming uh, morphing into beasts such as werewolves werebears uh, and other were creatures <laughs> during this uh, period. Yeah, <laughs> during this um, I got period. A, another question. But if it were to, you know, someone manifest a, a sphere of darkness that doesn't allow the light to go through it, it wouldn't affect us, correct? Mm, you don't know that. You'll have to try and see what happens. Okay. Then how about this? It's pretty early-ish how about we sleep right now we don't take many shifts and we wake up with the first light we can try to sleep uh, only half the night or that drios will say uh, i don't think i can sleep i'm i've been waiting to break that asshole's neck for so long i mm. i mean i'll keep watch if anything maybe we can sleep for half the time does anybody have sleep or catnap i have some catnip for you, if you want, <laughs> but, and i rub it on you not on me on drios he needs to relax okay just come here come here honey <laughs> <laughs> That's the good shit. <laughs> 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 hey, uh, <laughs> he gets slightly relaxed, but still alert. Leonip. <laughs> so we sleep for half the night and then we push forward? I think uh, catching them at dusk with hours to spare okay. might be a good idea. Then let's do that. And try to sleep. Okay. So, as you all uh, folks um, get in your sleeping bags, uh, you <laughs> still have a bit of hard time falling asleep knowing uh, the impending events that uh, are to come the following day. But uh, you manage to find uh, that one small uh, peace of mind. To allow you to have a restful sleep and uh, we will pick up with the day of the eclipse next episode guys next episode guys. i can't wait <sighs> and the best part is now each of you has a furry uh, companion that to sleep with at night also <laughs> something that i forgot it's uh, and this is on my part okay i'm sorry but when uh, Anna Ora last uh, kissed you, as uh, you sent, setting her free, okay. you would have uh, received uh, the a boon of 
Object of Light, which uh, roll me a 1d6. Okay. My blood die. Go. It's a 4. <laughs> you increase your maximum HP by 4, as uh, now your beating heart also nice. pumps a little bit more vitality oh. into your body. The power and, uh, of love. Also, you gain a plus 1 wisdom. Oh! oh! Wow, uh, okay. Can that's be traded nice. for intelligence? <laughs> <laughs> or better die roll. Or charisma. Let me write it down and then I'll put yeah, it in sure. Plus, I'll, plus, uh, plus permanent plus. one to die rolls. <laughs> oh, oh, that would be amazing. <laughs> plus natural 20 every time I roll. <laughs> Can we put out it? But the plus Even one. Sixes? Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> roll me a d4. Natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. We'll see what um, happens uh, next episode. So, um, again, our fun fact is that we don't have, we don't no have a fun fact. Fun fact. No. <laughs> no. Fun but fact. We don't have a fun fact. Yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's such a fun Wait, fact that we said. That was last time's fun fact. I know, but I. Uh, we don't have a fun fact. Again. Fun fact. Okay. Our fun fact is that it's we have the previous week's fun fact. <gasps> oh! oh. <laughs> right. okay. Okay. Anyway, uh, so guys, uh, thank you very much for um, being with us tonight. Until next time, uh, bear hugs, good night. And the moment the vampires, vampires by the event that was like a blood. <laughs> <laughs>